One of the most asked questions I get is, Neil, how do I choose products to sell as affiliate? I don't want to ruin my reputation selling things that my audience won't like. Well, there's a framework to find the perfect affiliate product. And if you follow it step by step, you'll end up selling much more than if you just copy and paste Amazon affiliate code on your website, hoping that you're going to generate sales. So you're probably wondering what it is, right? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel. And today I'm going to break down how to find the perfect affiliate product to sell to your audience that they'll love. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe. If you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. That way, when I go live, you'll get notified. First, if you don't know where your audience's main problems are, what their needs, what their wants are, you need to start by surveying them and talking to them. Ask them questions like, what is the biggest challenge that you're facing? What are your most burning questions that you want answered? What's not out there? What product, service, or tool would you like someone to create? What level of expertise do you have? Are you a beginner, intermediate, expert? What's your preferred method of learning? Is it reading, listening, watching, practicing? Do you pay for any subscriptions that can help you out in your life, in your basketball journey, in your musician lessons? I don't know whatever category you're in, but you get the point. Have you ever bought any products or services to improve your, and let them fill in the blank. You can modify all of these questions to your audience. You can always install live chat tools or use tools like Qualaroo or SurveyMonkey to figure this out, or you could just ask open-ended questions. By figuring out what your audience needs, what their problems are, if they have paid for other products or services, it'll tell you what you can sell to them and what you shouldn't waste your time with. For example, if you're selling musician-related products or your blog or your website's about music and you find out that everyone's an expert and you decide to sell beginner-related products, you're not gonna get many conversions. But if you find out that everyone's a beginner and you sell beginner-related products and then intermediate as people go up and then expert products as they go up even more, you'll do much better. That's why it's really important to figure out what your audience is all about, the issues, the pain points they have. That way, you know what to sell them from an affiliate standpoint to generate the most income. Second, you wanna brainstorm all kinds of solutions, the products, the services that can help your audience out. Create a blank document. Jot down any ideas that cross your mind, whether it's something that you've already seen or no one's are invented yet. There's no filter, you can do whatever you want. You can even browse other affiliate sites to see what's out there and this will give you ideas as well. Third, look for products that fall into any of these categories and are top sellers in their categories. For example, if you go on Amazon, they clearly show you what are top sellers in a category. You can install Affiliateizer's Chrome extension. It'll tell you if there are any affiliate programs for products or services that you come across on the web. It'll even give you a direct link to affiliate programs so you can sign up. Even when you're browsing content, it'll let you know if you're looking at a piece of information related to affiliate program out there. Now, if you wanna sell retail, search for products in any of the following programs. Amazon Associates, eBay Partner Network, Jet.com Affiliates, Target Affiliates, Walmart Affiliate Program. If you're open to selling other kinds of products like educational base or even software, check out ClickBank, JVZoo, OfferVault, Rakuten, Warrior Plus, FlexOffers, ShareSell, Commission Junction, Avangate, Max Bounty, and Purefly. And if you want to focus on educational products, check out Udemy, Treehouse, Coursera, Quickstart, and 360 Training. Those sites should give you an idea of what could work and what won't work for you and your audience. The fourth thing you need to consider is whatever products or service you consider as selling as affiliates, here are the criteria that they need to meet. Because if they don't meet these criteria, one, you won't do well, but two, you're gonna look bad to your audience. So let's go over the criteria. It needs to be directly connected to the content that you write about. So if you're writing about music stuff, your offers, your product services need about music. If you start offering something else, not only will you not make any money, but people are going to be pissed off at you. It also needs to help people out. This is a huge criteria for me. If something doesn't help out your audience, then why would you sell it to them? Sure, in the short run, you may make some money, but in the long run, you're going to burn your reader base, you're going to lose your trust, and you won't do well in the long run. Warren Buffett always has this philosophy. If you have a choice between something that can make you money in the short run or something that's going to burn your brand, take the option of not making the money and protecting your brand. 
Why? Because it creates longevity. So this is how I really figure out if this helps people out. I look at my audience and be like, all right, is this gonna help them out in an educational way? Is this gonna solve a nagging problem that they're facing in life? Is this something that removes friction from something that they experience on a daily basis? Is this something that speeds up a process in your audience's life? Is this something that makes things easier, cheaper, more effective, or even more elegant, right? Is it something that raises your status among your peers, your family, your friends? If it meets a lot of those criteria, if it's something that you would use yourself, if it's something that you would easily recommend to your friend, then you have something that's worth promoting. The fifth thing that you need to do is, don't just put links and ads all over your website to these products and services. They need to play an active role in your content. You gotta blend them in contextually. That way, as people are reading, they're getting education, they can also buy. You need to teach people how they can accomplish their goals using these products and services. You need to put out tutorials, in-depth reviews, product comparisons. By doing those things, you're much more likely to get sales. And when you're doing a product comparison, you can also sign up as affiliate to the other product that you're promoting. Sure, it may not perform as well as the main product that you're focusing on, but hey, if someone decides to sign up for that other product that you don't think is that great, eh, at least you're gonna get affiliate commission from it. And subtly mention these products and services within your content when there's other related topics. And of course, make sure you include a call to action. If you don't have a call to action when you're promoting affiliate offers, you're not gonna do well. Now, if you're a company that needs help getting more sales, whether it's through affiliate or just any form of digital marketing, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. I look forward to helping you out.